Bill. Reclaim. Here is Elite 45, Seth Rollins. And wow, I gotta tell you, I I was holding off on getting some figures for a while just because, well, I, I've met some of the guys from ringside and, you know, they're, they're really cool guys. However, you know, and I understand, I'm not saying I don't understand, you know, because guys, if you, listen, if you listen to this video, I understand why the prices, you know, are, are not scalper high, but, you know, high enough to where you guys can get an income, and I get that. I would have probably done the same thing, hence I will, I have done the same thing on eBay in the past, but it's still a matter of, if you're going to look on other websites and find something cheaper, especially for a guy of, I'm sorry, I have a Shield Rollins, I have another Rollins that I did custom work to. As great as this figure is, I was willing to wait a little bit, I wasn't going to spend close to 30 bucks for it. So, Amazon had it for about, I want to say, 18 something, which is about retail price, and if you spend over $49 or whatever, you get free shipping, so I was like, okay, works for me. So here he is, Seth Rollins, the architect, and let's take a look at the figure. First, uh, talking about this belt, we finally have a WWE World Title that come, that is not a single mold. And that's what a lot of people complain about last year. We finally have a belt. Took them about two years, you know. But hey, it is what it is. And, and you know, I, I like it actually. Plate looks a little smaller compared to the the other old older logo of the WWE belt. But you know, hey, it, it I think it captures the uh, belt pretty well. I don't like how these aren't colored in. I might have to take care of that myself, but, you know, that's something from down the road. Now, here's the figure. I love the head skin. You know, it just it captures that snarky, obnoxious lamp, and he has that <laughs> like the, that little hackle. I don't even know if you'd call it a laugh. He's got the little, even though he doesn't have it anymore, he's got the little blonde streak there, because at the time, towards, you know, so I want to say SummerSlam and Night of Champions when he wore this outfit. That was when he had that blonde streak. He really didn't get rid of it until he, you know, he came back in Newark and Extreme Rules. It was pretty cool to be there for that. He's got this vest, which actually doesn't click in well. I mean, honestly, when I display him on the shelf, he's going to be like that. You're not going to be seeing him. That or I might get sick of the vest, burn it, and then put a t-shirt on him. So I take this off. He's got his j tribal Japanese tats, which I honestly don't know yet what he means. I'm sure there's a video out there showing, you know, what he means. And, you know, they, they picked a good torso for the guy. Uh, so, you know, of course, since this is elite, you have the ab crunch. He no longer wears gloves. He didn't wear gloves then. And he doesn't wear them now. So this works for a Rollins today, which is nice. I mean, I prefer this outfit that he wears now. Well, this one here, as opposed to what he wears now. I think the gray is kind of bland, in my opinion. He's got this nice white and gold thing. Now, the one problem with my figure was there's a little bit of a paint smudge there. I don't know how that happened. But it's done with some touching up with a white painter's pen can't do, or a, uh, sand sponge. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not the, I'll be honest with you guys, I've been watching him since he was Tyler Black in Ring of Honor. I really haven't been the hugest Rollins fan post-Shield. I'll be completely blunt with you guys. A lot of people were big on him. I don't know, it's just like, the heel run really sucked for the guy. I just, I'm glad that they are make, positioning him more as a face, you know, because I think he should have been one for a while now. And I hope it stays that way. You know, I, I, I don't know. I I think if you're going to be a high flyer, you're more of a baby face. 
like for instance the Usos they were doing their little splashes and everything and now at the heels they're doing more heel tactics they're doing that move to the leg they're doing the to kill a sunrise which is what heels should be doing but when Rollins was a heel no he's doing the Phoenix Splash he's doing this he's doing that yeah you gotta get over because people are going wow what a tremendous athlete the whole Oh, look how good I am. Act you only get you so far before people start cheering you. So, but yeah, like I said, not was never the biggest Rollins fan. I'm not gonna go out and buy a T-shirt of his. But hey, he's a a necessity of the WWE roster now, and I always want to get the top guys of WWE. So, yeah, there he is, the architect. Although this is not the belt for Monday Night Raw anymore. Still hold it. Two time champ. Money in the Bank. NXT champion. US champion. And WWE Tag Team champion. All he has never done is the Intercontinental. Holding Intercontinental title, which actually would probably look cool around Rollins' waist. You know, the whole white thing. I don't know, that would look pretty cool. Because I have a white belt with uh, ringside Shawn Michaels in the white and red. And that looks pretty good. But I digress. So, anyway, guys, this has been a video from EMW Classic. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like down below, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the pictures. Take care.